Ken Klippenstein broke an amazing story for the nation here. And um, I know that I've given you about 100 stories related to this pandemic that have already pissed you off to the high heavens, but this one might take the cake. In 2017, the military identified a novel influenza disease as the most likely and significant threat, which it anticipated would lead to a shortage of ventilators, face masks, and hospital beds per Pentagon document leaked to me. They knew. So, in the document, we're not going to go through the specifics because you got the gist of it right there, but they lay it out in detail. And, you know, it, honestly, to tell you the truth, what this is, is this is fodder for conspiracy theorists, too. Because it almost seems like you're going to read this and go, this is almost like some, you know, 9-11 inside job type stuff where it's curious. You look at it and go, really? They, guys, they literally even said in the report, coronavirus. Now, that might not be as, you know, as spooky as it seems because coronavirus is a type of virus where... There's a family of those viruses. It's a certain kind of virus. So that's why we originally called this the novel coronavirus. Novel meaning new to humans. Coronavirus meaning the category of virus. But that's why the real name now, we call it COVID-19. Because it's a specific kind of coronavirus. There's a family of coronaviruses. But in 2017, a U.S. government report said very clearly... Okay, so a big, probably the biggest threat that we're facing is a novel coronavirus, which will leave us with shortage of ventilators, face masks, and hospital beds. They knew, and they did nothing about it. Now, by the way, I'm not absolving the Obama administration either, because we told a story on this show of how we got that ventilator shortage. So in 2009, I believe it was, they uh, contracted with a small medical device company to... Give us a lot of ventilators in case something like this happened. And they wanted a, a smaller, cheaper, easier to use ventilator. And a company got to work on it. They made the prototypes. The federal government looked and said, ooh, we like this one. So they ordered a whole bunch of them. You know what happened? A bigger medical device company called Covidian. Curious enough, because we have COVID-19 and the name of the medical device company is Covidian. Covidian came in bought the company, got the approval from the government to do so. That happened under the Obama administration. And then they sh they canceled the contract and shut it all down. So the, go the government was planning in 2009, hey, if we have a pandemic, let's make sure we're prepared. Because they didn't stick with the original company, because the bigger company bought it out, so monopoly power is a huge issue here. And they said no more to the deal, and the federal government agreed, all of that stuff, perfect storm of, now we're a mess, now we're, we have a novel coronavirus, and you see the results unfolding right in front of you. Great work from Ken Klippenstein here, because he's basically showing, they know. This is the equivalent of the George W. Bush memo, Bin Laden determined to attack in the United States. Remember that? Some of you might not. But there was a memo on George W. Bush's desk. Bin Laden determined to attack in the United States. And they did Dickie McGee's acts. They did nothing. And then Bin Laden attacked. And you know the rest of the story. Multi-trillion dollar wars. Hundreds of thousands of innocent people killed. Torture. All that. They... they exploited the pre-existing ideology that they had, namely topple all the governments that are hostile to the U.S. This is the equivalent of that. This is the equivalent of, equivalent of Bin Laden determined to attack in the United States. This is 2017. U.S. is susceptible to a novel coronavirus and we have a shortage of hospital beds and face masks and ventilators and all that stuff. Lays it out in extreme detail in that report. We're a failed state, man. I mean, what else is there to say about this? We're a failed state. And now, even handling the fallout of it, we just covered the story. We have in one week, six point, what is it, 6.1 or 6.6 .6 million new unemployed people who filed for unemployment. The old record was just under 700,000. We have no idea what we're doing.
We have no idea what we're doing. We don't know how to handle this. This is a, a total and complete disaster and mess. It's time for some serious change, man. Some serious change. We got to get all of the corrupt corporatists out of our government. We got to get all <clears throat> of the stupid people out of our government. And we got to not only represent the people, but also listen to expertise when it's necessary. You know, I mean, this is... If there was ever a time you should have listened to the scientists and the health experts and the doctors, this is it right now, man. This is it right now. Think about all the money, all the money we wasted on unnecessary wars and the so-called defense budget. It's really the offense budget. All the money we just hand over to the military industrial complex, no questions asked. Trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars. And what's the cover story they give? We have to protect Americans. Yeah. That's what they say. Well, now we have a virus which has already killed more people than 9-11. And they're saying it'll be a victory if we only have 100,000 to 200,000 deaths as a result of this. A victory is that. So all that money to defend the country... And then meanwhile, the virus is doing something Al-Qaeda could only dream of. Imagine Al-Qaeda killed 100,000 to 200,000 Americans in the course of, of a season. What would our reaction be? There would be nukes dropped. But when it's a virus, we couldn't even do the basic preparedness of having the right number of ventilators, the right number of beds, the right number of masks. We couldn't even do the basic stuff. We couldn't have a stockpile of antiviral drugs. You know, there's an AIDS drug which helps fight RNA viruses, and this coronavirus is an RNA virus. Why didn't we have a stockpile of that? Why didn't we have a stockpile of that? We don't care about the real threats. Climate change is a real threat. A pandemic is a real threat. We don't care about any of that. But we do blow up the threats that aren't as serious so that we could give more money to the military-industrial complex. It's all a ruse. It's all, let's give money to the people who bought us. Whether it's Wall Street, which they're also doing, other big corporations, the oil industry is next to get a bailout, the military-industrial complex. It's all politicians just finding excuses to give more money to the people who bought them. That's what it comes down to. And the result is, everybody else gets screwed.